Once again, everyone, welcome to English is Fun by Teacher Zine, your online mentor of informative tips and tutorials one click away. In today's info video, I'll be teaching you how to integrate your classroom using this interactive Microsoft PowerPoint classroom activity called the Treasure Hunting. But before that one, please do not forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell icon in order for you to receive latest updates of my informative videos. And do not forget also to follow me on my official Facebook page, that's www.facebook.com slash teacherzine. And if you wish to have a copy of this Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, please email me using the email address provided on the screen. And of course, before we will begin, special thanks of course to OneSkill PowerPoint Tutorials for inspiring me to make this amazing concept. They actually teach you a lot of tutorials about how to make your PowerPoint presentation extra special. So I hope you can also visit their page. All right. All right. It's about time for us to begin. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Can you say aye aye, Captain? Aye, aye. Can you say it again? That's the energy and yeah, for today I'll be teaching you how to facilitate this interactive classroom activity in your online class. This is very good, I should say, in the ESL classes and yeah, when I actually do this one with my students, it was really enjoyable, I have to say. And of course, by the way, for those who would wish to have a copy of this PowerPoint presentation, I would recommend, of course, to use the Microsoft 365 version. It would really work best using the Microsoft Office 365, okay? Because some of the features here are only found in Microsoft Office 365, including that 3D, uh, 3D animation there, like the captain, all right? So without further, further ado, sorry, uh, let's proceed right away to the game mechanics how to do this interactive classroom activity in your class all right so here we go here is the game mechanics there it is so it's just very simple it says here to find the hidden golden treasure using the treasure map provided okay you will travel the world with so many challenges so do your best and strive hard for the gold let the treasure hunting begin that's what captain zine says all right so yeah yeah this one is really an integration like i also make sure that when i make powerpoint presentation i relate it to myself i connect it to myself but of course you can customize that one like if in case you'll have a copy of this then you can also insert another 3d animation you can just search or find a lot of it in the microsoft office uh, microsoft powerpoint office um, software of course all right so yeah the instruction is very simple the student should uh the, i mean sorry the main goal of the student is to find the hidden golden treasure all right so basically in this activity you will allow your students to travel around the world but using the online platform that's how uh, this um, interactive uh, Microsoft PowerPoint game is really engaging because you would assume you will let your students to travel around the world all right and in that case um, there is a map and then there are different places that the student would like to choose okay so this time I'll show you already the map all right just a moment and here is the map as you can see there are different places in the map oh no if not mistaken there are actually 10 places and then I represented these places by means of a picture all right or by means of pictures as you can see there is a train and then there is this lighthouse I think if not mistaken we also have here a boat and then oh a dinosaur uh, I'm, I'm quite excited as to what place is that and we also have here a tree and then a windmill and then a turkey and also a volcano a cannon and also a ship all right so there are different place i think the ship here by the way is the titanic i'm not sure but yeah we will know all these places later all right so it's very simple the student should pick 
uh, a place and then if you click that place it will hyperlink right away to that specific place where that picture is being connected to all right so by the way of course if in case the student will be able to choose the wrong place say for example that place that the student chose uh, don't have the treasure goal the thing is that the student needs to accomplish or to complete two challenges in order for him or her to go back to this treasure map all right and in that case if in case the student will be able to complete the two challenges of course he will be able to he or she will be able to go back here in the treasure map and then he or she has another chance of course to go to another place and find that hidden golden treasure all right now it's about time for the student to choose the first place that he or she would want to go online all right now so the thing is you will let the student pick or choose a specific place say for example let's pretend that the student um chooses the titanic i'm quite excited as to what is this titanic all about so let's click and let's see which place this picture will lead us all right so it's about time for us to travel here we go i'll click titanic oh there it is and it says here welcome to the atlantic ocean where the very popular british ocean liner titanic with over 2200 passengers and crew sank on april 15 1912 at 2 20 a.m oh I'm sorry to tell you, but you cannot find the treasure here. For you to go back to the treasure map, you need to complete the given challenges below. Oh, wow. I cannot imagine like we are brought back to the past time. And then here we go. We are in the Titanic. Very nice. And then who would imagine that we are here right now in the Atlantic Ocean? This is incredible. But unfortunately, in this place, the treasure or the, the hidden golden treasure is not found in here. Unfortunately, of course, we cannot swim and dive deeply in this ocean. It's very cold and there is this iceberg, perhaps. Now, since uh, the treasure gold is not found here, the student should do two challenges in order for him or her to go back to the treasure map. Okay, that's the thing. This is how I integrate the part wherein the student will do a task or will apply something in relation to, you know, speaking or writing like that in different ways. Like in my case, I integrate this one to my English class. Uh, sorry, oh no, what happened to my pronunciation? That's English class, all right? So with that, of course, since this is an integration with the English class, class again, sorry. So what I did is that um, I have here two challenges and of course these challenges are related of course to my class all right so we have a challenge one and challenge two so it will depend on the student as to what challenge will he or she pick okay so we have here example let's see that the student uh, pick challenge one so let's click here we go and this is the challenge Titanic sank in the Atlantic Ocean about 400 miles south of Newfoundland, Canada. Now, make a sentence with the word Titanic. Okay, wow, what a challenge. This will really allow your students, you know, to at least um, integrate the lesson. You know, learn something, of course, from the place and then, of course, integrate it. And in my case, since I'm doing this one for my online class, like for my ESL class, so making a sentence with such a word is really very helpful for the students especially um, they are really into engaging in terms of learning the English language all right so that's the key so I will let the student make a sentence with the word Titanic but of course in your case since you know this interactive classroom activity can be integrated to subjects like Araling Panlipunan or social studies because yeah this is about you know talking about history as you can see there are different timetables there and yeah uh, places of course um, around the world and yeah you can integrate it in your social study class or even me I was able to integrate it in English you can even integrate this one to science it will really depend on you it will really depend on you as a teacher your creativity will really matter all right 
so yeah so this is it this is the task of the students so of course you'll be giving him or her the time to make a sentence which uh, uh, with such a word and then if in case it's done then you can go back to the challenge board because as i told a while ago the student needs to accomplish two challenges before um, he or she will be able to go back to the treasure map all right so i think we are done with uh, challenge one so we will proceed right away to challenge two all right here we go and this is challenge number two. Oh, like this is like situational because the situation goes like this. Let's pretend that you are a passenger, oh, of the Titanic together with your whole family. If you found out that the ship is sinking, who will you save first from your family and why? Oh, this is a tough question, I should say. Like the student should really think harder who among his or her family she would save first, All right? So yeah, in this case, you know, for sure the student would say, oh, this is quite a tough question because of course he or she should wait in carefully as to who would be the first person um, he or she will save and yeah in fact this is really a terrible a tragic experience so basically the student should think carefully and then of course you will allow the student to explain to speak all right this is actually my main goal in here like i integrate the activity with challenges for the student to speak or to make sentences or um, other way that you would like the student to do it will really depend on your case teachers if you will customize this activity all right so assuming that the student um, is already uh, is already able to answer this one so that means that um, in that case you have to go back to the challenge board because this is actually the key for you to go back of course to the treasure map all right so assuming that uh, the student was able already to do challenge one and challenge two so we will go back right away to the treasure map all right so i will click right away and there it is oh this is a nice how do i say this one um transition of the how do i say this one the slides and by the way i'm using the morph transition so yeah basically i believe some teachers knows about this one so it's a very nice thing that uh, microsoft office 365 offers a lot or new animations transitions which are indeed very good and very helpful for your class to make it more engaging more interactive for your students all right now here are other places your students might be able to visit in the entire class duration let's have the train and you are in the liverpool road station in manchester england this is the place where the world's oldest railway station can be found we also have the dinosaur and oh Welcome to the prehistoric world of the Jurassic period. Let's go back to the treasure map. And we have the boat. Oh, we are now leading our way to the Nile River, the longest river in the world which flows from south to north through eastern Africa. Let's proceed to our next place. This time, we will have the turkey. And, oh, I welcome you to the southeastern city of Mardin in Turkey. The place where Sultan Kusen, the tallest living person in the world since September 17, 2009 until now, is residing. What I mean is this is the place where Sultan Kusin is living. There you go. We also have the windmill. And let's visit this place. Welcome to the small village of Nashtifan, Iran. Home of some of the world's oldest windmills that are still spinning even up to these days. I love to see these windmills. Let's go back to the treasure map. Oh, sorry. I'm leading back to the train. I'm so sorry. 
and yeah that's a reminder that you need to be very careful in playing your slides all right and then we will proceed to oh the volcano i'm quite curious on this and we are oh welcome to albay Biko, philippines it's more fun in the philippines and this place is home of mayon volcano dubbed as the world's most perfect volcanic cone because of the symmetry of its shape i hope also you will visit philippines because it's really fun here in the philippines let's go back to the treasure map and this time we will lead our way to this cannon just a moment and we are already in the royal armorist fort nelson hampshire united kingdom oh uk where you can find the dardanelles gun the world's oldest dated cannon in existence oh this is like somehow a gun used in history i like this one very interesting all right let's go back to the treasure map mm -hmm. and this time we will lead our way to this tree here just a moment and let's see where will this tree lead us there you go welcome to redwood national park north california usa home of hyperion the world's tallest tree nice one there it is now let's pretend that the student is already able to discover the place where the hidden golden treasure is actually located and yeah let's do let's click this place here we go and there it is welcome to county wexford in ireland home of the hook lighthouse which is claimed to be the oldest yet still operational lighthouse in the world so this is actually the place where the golden treasure is actually located there it is it's actually in ireland wow this activity will really lead us to discover a lot of places in the world like i was not of knowing that the oldest lighthouse is actually located in this place and yeah this makes the this activity more engaging for learning all right and it is it is indeed a great addendum for learning now basically it's not that easy for the student to just you know discover that the, the golden treasure is located in this place okay because of course i also decided to give more challenges for the students to do which is like I, in this case i integrate it in my english or in my online class all right so there are actually four almost opened um how do i say this one treasure box or treasure boxes of course and they're numbered from one two three and four and the task of the student is to choose or to select a hidden treasure or like a treasure box all right and then of course we will open it and try to see if the how do i say this one the highly acclaimed um golden treasure is found inside the treasure box all right so let's pretend that the student uh decided to choose treasure box number one so we will click it and let's see if the hidden golden treasure is inside this treasure box are you ready here it is oh no i'm sorry the golden treasure is not here for you to still find it in the other treasure boxes you need to arrange the jumbled letters first to form a correct word then use it in a sentence oh this is another job or uh, sorry another task or another challenge for the student like he or she needs to solve first this um jumbled letters to form a correct word in this case actually the word is necklace all right so after that one if in case the student is already able to um get the correct word or in that case you will also allow him or her to use such word in a sentence all right so assuming that everything is done perfectly so let's go back to the treasure boxes since the student is still unable to find the hidden 
golden treasure so let's choose another one let's choose number four treasure box number four and let's see if it is inside this treasure box here we go oh no i'm sorry again the golden treasure is not in here so the same task the student will have to rearrange this jumbled letters and if in case he or she was able to um say the right word then um he needs he or she needs also to use it in a sentence and after that one of course go back to the treasure boxes we only have two treasure boxes left they are um treasure box number two and treasure box number three but this time i will already reveal the right treasure box containing the most awaited golden treasures are you ready for the big revelation yeah. i can't hear you are you ready yeah. well in this case which do you think are the golden treasures inside treasure box number two or treasure box number three let's see and the correct one the hidden golden treasure is actually in treasure box number here you go that's it and there it is the hidden golden treasure it's a success and the student was able to find the hidden golden treasure in this activity the student becomes very rich not with the gold but with knowledge fun and of course lesson there it is once again the hidden golden treasure and that sums up our activity about the treasure hunting and by the way just a reminder to all teachers there for sure this activity would not be attainable for a 25 minute class like the usual or the regular time frame of your classes all right so um in that case of course if in case the student uh, is still not able to discover the hidden golden treasure in that particular class and of course you would encourage your student to book you for another class of course so that you can continue uh, finding or searching or hunting that hidden golden treasure in that case or in that particular matter then that would allow you also to boost your booking um how do i say this one your booking of classes from students and in that way for sure your student will book you again for you to be able to finish and continue the game that you started all right and yeah that's it for the treasure hunting i hope that you learned something from this interactive microsoft powerpoint classroom activity and if in case you would want to um have a copy of this microsoft powerpoint please do not forget once again to email me using the email address i provided in the description down there and of course um Special thanks once again to One Skill PowerPoint Tutorials for this amazing concept. Very, very nice concept. Thank you so much for this. It really gave me a great idea to have this um, interactive Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. And please also follow the page of One Skill PowerPoint Tutorial or subscribe to the page and learn a lot of things. All right. And lastly, of course, um, special thanks also to Joseph Redfield uh, from Pexels for this amazing, beautiful beach background and audio live for the amazing background music that I use in this presentation and that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video I hope you learned something and see you in my another video tutorial thank you so much have a good day and goodbye